Hi everyone, my name is Joe Wrights with Stanley Security and this is Nation Talks. On today's episode I want to talk about something a little more basic and that's email templates. Uh, it comes up a lot talking to potential Marketo customers, the, the question of do I need a web developer? And you know, the honest answer is that yeah, that absolutely helps. If you have someone with that skill set, you're going to be that much better off launching into Marketo and the world of marketing automation, blah, blah, blah. But you can, you can get away without it if you just know the basics and you're willing to tinker. So that's what I'm going to show you today. Uh, now from the outset, I think it's very important to say there are a litany of companies out there uh, that do landing page and email design and integrate them well with Marketo. Uh, a couple samples for you and I'll put them on the screen. Uh, Knack, Unbounce, uh, you can get some pretty good email templates from Creative Market or ThemeForest.net. Uh, but the important thing is just knowing what to do with those templates once you have them. And that's what we'll focus on now. Uh, so basically, um, I recently we're we're about to launch a new a new product at Stanley that is really going to revolutionize campus safety for the higher education market. Uh, it's a personal safety app, basically. Let's leave it at that. But I downloaded a template and I needed to customize it. And so easy things like downloading, uh, uh, putting in our logo and images and that kind of thing. Important thing to remember is that these have to live in Marketo. And you'll have to upload them for them to render once you've uploaded the template. But uh, I usually do my design offline because I find it's easier to work in Dreamweaver than it is in the uh, just the browser-based uh, editor. So uh, what you need to do though uh, is basically go into. Uh, you'll see most emails are organized like in tables, and there's some features like there's a cool background image of a college campus here. It's not going to show up in all email clients, but uh, it does in, in, in most. It's just the, <laughs> the one that most people use, Outlook, it will not. Uh, so that's the one thing to look out for when you're downloading templates is compatibility issues. So it's very important to have an email deliverability service, which was, will be another nation talk, either handled by me or another, another uh, champion. So getting back to what you actually need to do once you have the template is... Um, you need to add what's called a div tag to every cell. And what that looks like is, so when I select in all this text, if I wanted to rewrite it or do whatever, I could do that just by typing on it. But what I need to add in the cell is uh, this bit of code here. So you see here the uh, a row in, in HTML is the TD. And that's where this ensuring personal safety paragraph is living. So before we get to that text, what I need to type into the HTML is div and then class equals, and this is very important to put it in quotes and get this right, is MKT editable. And that's essentially telling Marketo, this is an editable field that once they upload this template from email to email, the user will be able to edit the field. So then you have to add a unique ID. And these have to be unique because as you go from uh, section to section, Marketo needs to know what they're called. Uh, and we'll, we'll look at that in a second. But basically, go through every portion of your email and add those tags. Uh, you see them everywhere that I went. And then the other important thing to remember is uh, that's just the opening, this div class, Marketo, ID, blah, blah, blah. But then you also have to remember to close the tag in the cell. Because uh, if you don't, then everything that comes after Marketo is going to think is part of that until it sees a, a close tag on that div. So... Um, that's what I did throughout this whole email, went through, and uh, uh, also, pro tip, uh, put tokens, in universal tokens for your copyright, so you, when you update year to year. Uh, <laughs> but So once I did that, I, I imported into Marketo, uh, approved the template, no issues. And then when I created an email using the template, this is what it looks like. So the logo, I don't need to edit the logo ever. Uh, so it just is what it is. The, uh, but this part, I could, I could edit the text here just fine if I wanted to. Um, I could edit the text here if I wanted to. So what you see here on the right are all of the, uh, the div IDs and then I could edit these texts, edit the links, edit the images, whatever I wanted to do I've got control over the entire email to go ahead and do. So I could use this template for one thing as is because I designed it all offline but if I wanted to use this for another uh, product launch or anything like that it's easily done now because all these different uh, sections of the template that you can see are, are outlined are ready to be edited and uh, again this was probably maybe a half hour's worth of work just knowing basics of HTML like how to swap out images and colors and 
and those kinds of things. So I, I hope this, this, uh, this talk was useful for you. Uh, if you have any questions, definitely hit it up in the comments and uh, look forward to talking to you guys soon on another episode. Thanks.